Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, data migration using business object method of LSMW. And in the previous video, we processed the IDOCs one by one and we got this particular result. And it is clearly saying, yes, the following IDOCs were passed to the application. What is the purpose of inbound process code? It will process the IDOC and pass the data to the application. It means data is successfully passed to our function module. Inside our function module, we have written a logic to insert data to employee table. So firstly, we will check our employee table is all the five records inserted to our employee table? We will firstly check. So I will go to the function module. From there, I will check what is the name of our table. In this function module, this is our table. If I will go to this table, I will go to the contents of the table. I will go for execute. Now you can see all five records inserted to the table. It means we process the IDOC and data pass to our table or function module or application, you can say in this case. So data is verified successfully. Now we will see the IDOCs. Now I will go to back button. I will go to back button. Now I will go to back button. Now, what is the next step? Create IDOC overview. Now we need to check. We need to go for overview of the IDOC. Now you can simply, simply relate. If I will go for execute, it will take me to which transaction code? It will take me to WE02 or WE05 transaction code. If I will execute, you can see this is IDOC list, means WE02 transaction code. So after processing, you can separately go for WE02 or WE05. Or here itself, we have a step here in the LSMW itself, create IDOC overview. So it will show you the overview of the IDOCs in that session. This is our yes message type. If I will go for execute, you can see all five IDOCs are in green color now, green color. And what is the status as of now? The status is 53. We will check the meaning of 53. Now, if I will click on to first IDOC number, if I will go to status record, just if you recall, previously we have only two status at that point of time. 50 means IDOC added and 64 means IDOC ready to the pass to the application. Now, have you seen two more status added? 62 means IDOC passed to the application and 53 status means application document posted. So what is the meaning of 53 status? 53 status means our document posted successfully, successfully without any error. If I will expand, you can see we have a simply message here. Employee ID 100 successfully inserted. If you remember, we gave this message in our function module. If you see our function module, we pass this message through our code. That's why it appeared there. If you see, we pass this message. This is our message. If you see this particular class, in this particular class, we created the message. This, if I will show you this class. This all we did previously. You can see employee ID 100 successfully inserted. And percent is replaced by that particular employee ID. If I will go to second IDOC number, if I will show you second IDOC, 
I will go to back button. This is our second item. If I will go to status record, again, we have four status. It is also posted successfully. Now the message is employee ID 101 successfully inserted. If I will go to third item, now it will simply show me employee ID 102 successfully inserted. If I will go to the fourth, if I will go to again fourth, sorry, if I will go to fourth IDOC, you can see employee ID 103 successfully inserted. If I will go to fifth IDOC, you can simply see employee ID 104 successfully inserted. Previously, we have the statuses IDOC added. Now the IDOC is posted successfully. Yes. So application document posted successfully. Same to same thing. You can check in EDIDS table also. If I will go to EDIDS table, I will display this table. I will go to the contents. If I will go for same to same IDOCs, 28, 29, then we have 30, then we have 31 and 27. I will go to execute. Now you can easily, easily without executing, you can easily understand we will get 20 records here. For every IDOC, we have four status, 50, 64 were previously. After that, we have 62 and 53. So for every IDOC, we will get four status, 50, 64, 62, 53. 53 means posted successfully. 53 posted successfully. This one, then we have this one, and then we have this one. So we clearly, clearly verified the result that whatever we did is up to mark. We check the tables. We check W802, WE05 transaction code. And the at the last main is we checked our employee table that we migrated the data from the legacy and ultimately it came into our table and the whole approach which we used is puppy with idoc interface now what is the summary of the video and what we studied in this particular video we covered the last step of lsmw if i will go to lsmw we covered the last step of LSMW, that is IDOC overview. If you will click on to this button, it will ultimately show you the IDOCs. It will take you to WE02 or WE05 transaction code. And we verified the result into all the tables of IDOCs. And we verified the result into our employee table also. In the next video, we will continue that topic. That's it in this video. Thank you.